Good morning, everybody. When I was asked to give a short talk to you on the theme of the school year, I was puzzled as I did not know really where to begin. I thought about all the things I could say and also all the things that other students and teachers had spoken about. After much thought, I decided that it would be appropriate to talk about the place where I was born. You may be wondering why this would be related to the theme of hope. Well, let me share with you the hope of a nation. I'm sure that at least some of you are aware that I was born in South Africa. Most of you only know about this place because the soccer or football World Cup will be held there later this year. Others think of diamonds or abalone because the place is famous for these things. However, how many of you know about the history of South Africa? South African history is nothing to be proud of but it tells the story of the hope of an entire nation. Since the early years, South Africa was known for one important idea which was written in the law books. This was apartheid, which makes racial discrimination legal. For decades, people in South Africa were subject to racial discrimination. This included all people who were not white. Chinese people, Indian people and black people were treated as inferior to white people. Everything was separated. For example, as Chinese people, my parents were not allowed to buy property in good areas, were not allowed to go to areas which were for white people, were not allowed to use white only toilets, were not allowed to travel in white only buses, and so on. At times, things became ridiculous. There was a bus for white people and a bus for non-white people. There were public toilets for white people and public toilets for non-white people. There were restaurants for white people and restaurants for non-white people. White students went to schools which had very good facilities and non-white students went to schools that had no facilities at all. In other words, life for a person like me was not easy. But my forefathers did not lose hope. For almost 100 years, people in South Africa hoped for change. We wanted to be treated equally. We wanted to be given fairness. It was after decades of waiting and struggling that in 1994, Mr. Nelson Mandela was released from jail and the people of South Africa finally won their freedom. We never gave up and always held on to the hope of change and justice. What this story tells us, my fellow St. Joan of Archeans, is that we should never lose hope. Without it, there will be no change and our dreams will never come true. Nowadays, the people in South Africa are called the Rainbow Nation. This symbolizes the hope of a nation that was treated unfairly for so many years. I don't know what will happen in my home country in the future, but I know what history tells me about the power of hope. We shall overcome if we cling onto our hope and prepare ourselves for a brighter day and a better way.